A lot of special paint schemes this weekend, and we were joking about Jeff Burton and the pictures on the dial to figure out who's in what car when it comes to ringing them up on the radio. Harvick's got a different paint scheme. Paul Menard a little bit different with the Quaker State colors this weekend. Clint Boyer, different look in that all-black car. Those just the ones out of the RCR camp. So if you're a spotter or a driver, you really got to be on your game to make sure you know who is in what car, I'm guessing. I think so. And I think it's almost harder for the spotters than it is for the drivers uh, because you're just seeing them as little specks going around the racetrack. You know, from a driver's perspective, back a million years ago in this sport, uh, you had red cars and blue cars and yellow cars and green cars. Then in the 90s and on in the 2000s, you've got these specialized paint schemes and they became more and more prevalent uh, with the die cast business. You know what I mean? That kind of drove a lot of paint schemes. And now the finances drive the paint schemes because nobody has one sponsor all year long. They're multiple sponsors. So when you go into these promotions and you go into these things, it's hard for a driver. You, you expect the one car to be that day glow orange, that bright orange car. And all of a sudden you show up somewhere and it's green. And it totally throws you off because you think, who is in this car? So a lot of drivers and most drivers used to always just go by color. Color was the easiest thing. I can't imagine being a spotter. Yeah, it's tough enough being a spotter here regardless of the circumstances, but the different paint schemes definitely throw them a curveball. Looking at Denny Hamlin in this 11 car, first lap for Denny, 51-22, and he's sitting here flirting with about where his teammates, Joy Logano and Kyle Busch, is sitting at 26-27. This seems to be the norm for the Joe Gibbs drivers. They don't have that speed in qualifying at Daytona and Talladega, but when they drop the green flag, they normally find the front of the field. We told you about Kyle Busch and his win here in 2008. Denny Hamlin won here in the Bud Shootout in his rookie season in 2006. And very consistent with his teammates. 25th right now is Hamlin. 50-21 with Logano and Kyle Busch, 27th and 28, one row behind him.